Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make really tasty, one of my favourites um, for desserts is chocolate chip muffins. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, do give it a thumbs up to show that you like it and I'd love to hear your comments and of course share it with your friends on social media. If you know that they'll love this recipe, do tell them about it. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel and maybe encourage friends and family to like and subscribe to the channel as well. Okay, enjoy watching. Right, so a little trick that I always do is just heat my bowl up so I've got about two inches of water in a pot and I put the bowl on top for a few minutes and it makes it nice and warm. We're going to start by just putting our butter into a bowl. Now ideally nice soft room temperature and then we'll add our sugar. Now you can cream this by hand if you wanted to and just push down the butter or you can use an electric mixer or a stand mixer. Okay, so we'll just cream this. So now we're just going to add two eggs. Right. Again, you can get your electric whisker or your stand mixer, but it's just as easy to stir it in with a wooden spoon at this stage if it's nice and soft and creamy. With the bowl being nice and hot, when you first start, it just makes the whole mixture easier to work with. See, that takes two seconds to mix with a spoon. No effort at all. Right, you want to put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. These little things are handy. Of course, you can use a normal teaspoon, but teaspoons can be all different sizes, so these are quite good to work with. And then you want half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add most of our flour. And you want to sieve that so you want to add sort of three quarters of the, the flour this recipe is so simple once you know how right now we can fold this in you can either use a wooden spoon or a spatula whichever you prefer you don't want to be over mixing it be nice and gentle with it the spatula is better because it's easier to get to the edges to get your flour but if you've not got one a wooden spoon will do now it's quite thick at this stage you can whip these up in no time. If you had guests coming over, you can just quickly make these. And of course you can make these and put them in the freezer as well, which is great. So that's what it looks like at the moment. And then we want to add our milk. So just gently mix it. You can see the consistency is beginning to change. So you've got a much smoother mixture at the moment, but then we're going to be adding some the rest of our flour now. And again, a nice gentle mix. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this. You want to be nice and gentle. It's looking really nice now. Now, of course you can leave it plain like this, or you can use the chocolate chips, which I'm going to be doing today. So we'll just add a packet of chocolate chips. You can use your milk ones, you can use dark ones, you can use a mixture, you can use white ones, whatever you want to try and do your muffins with. So that's your mixture ready. So for now, um, we need to let that rest for about five or 10 minutes. You don't put it into your tin straight away. So we're gonna put the oven on after you've made your batter mix. And while the oven is heating up, that's resting. With this recipe, it's good to have a nice hot oven and that helps the, the nice round bit form at the top of your muffin. So nice high oven, gas mark seven or 200. All right, so now we've got a muffin tin. You can use a normal cake tin and just put these on the top, but it's much better if you can get yourself a muffin tin. They're a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper. You can use an ice cream scoop and just put that in. That gives you a nice measurement. If you haven't got an ice cream scoop, you just push it in with the back of the spoon and then push it off again. 
So two tablespoons of mixture like that. I've got the ice cream scoop, so I'm going to carry on doing it with that. I actually love muffins. They're so tasty. So these are the cupcakes ready to go in the oven. So when I take them out, I'll show you what they're like. We'll just see how these are doing. Oh, don't they look lovely? These do look amazing. Look at that. Perfect looking muffin. So you want to just let these cool. If you start taking the paper off straight away, it all comes apart. So just let them cool for five minutes. All right, so here's our muffin. Look how delicious that is. So I'm just going to unwrap it now because it's been cooling for a few minutes. Probably should let it cool a bit longer, but I'm impatient here. <laughs> I want to hurry up and eat it. If you peel it when it's too hot, it all sticks to the paper. Look at that. That is one delicious muffin. Okay, so I'm going to try this now. And I'm so looking forward to this. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. This really is nice. Lovely and soft. And a slight crispiness on the outside at the top. And it's really delicious. So enjoy making yours. Thank you for watching today's video on how to make chocolate chip muffins. Hope you enjoyed it.